Hello my beauties, um, so <coughs> feeling a little bit under the weather at the moment and um, lots of stuff rushing through my mind and things that I'm thinking about and I thought maybe I would share some of it um, to see if it helps and uh, we've got um, Mercury going over the eclipse point at the 28th degree you know and anything that's right at the end of something is always um, it's always the dregs, it's always pulling up the last of something, it's always pulling up the, you know, the very deepest of everything. And, uh, you know, there's only 30 degrees to a sign, so 28 degrees is pretty much as, you know, apart from the last one, is, you know, pretty much as deep as it gets. Mm, the numerology of that as well, so 28, 2 and 8 gives you 10, and 10 is... Um, in terms of numerology, 10 is completion, it's home, it's, you know, the final stage, especially in the Kabbalah, it is the kingdom manifest, and then if you simplify that even further, it gives you the number one, you know, which takes you from home back to the beginning where it all starts again, um, so it's the complete cycle in and of itself, you know, that's what the number 10 represents. Mm. Mercury is thought, it's processing, it's the mind, it is communication, it's how we communicate what we feel, you know, it's, it's very much the communication of our feelings, and the eclipse happened in the sign of Leo, so this is going into what we feel at the deepest part of ourselves, what we feel at the deepest core of who we are in here, in the heart space, and, you know, it's it's revealing that as well for, for what it really is, for what it, it is that needs to, to come up. And it's funny because I knew that today would be, excuse me, I knew that today would be um, a difficult day in terms of the astrological energy. Excuse me. What I didn't anticipate, um, as I'm sure many of you probably didn't either, is that... Um, and this will happen right up until the 5th when Mercury goes direct. So we've got like a three day sort of window, basically. Um, where we're going to be feeling the dregs of it. You know, we're going to be feeling the dregs of what we truly believe, what we've been led to believe, how we've allowed it to shape and hone us. And that comes with a certain degree of pain. Um, and for me, I thought this was going to be me being angry and agitated, and actually it isn't that at all. What it's come with is um, a certain amount of realisation and, and a, quite a bit of pain, actually. Um, you know, what I'm feeling in here and in here is is quite painful stuff. And the thing about pain is it tends to come um, from things that are unconscious. It tends to come... Um, when we are unable to process what it is that we are actually feeling and so therefore it causes us some sort of pain and you know your feelings are there to give you an indicator of whether something is good for you or not and I kind of liken this to you know babies discover everything through their mouth you know they'll put it in their mouth if it tastes good oh okay it's probably to eat if it doesn't taste good probably not going to eat that because it's not good for me um, and your feelings are that sort of you know they're an inner guide for you and pain, if you allow it to, can actually make you quite strong, um, you know, because you build up a tolerance to it. And I think what is happening for me personally is um, going over, because Leo, although it's my first house as, um, as a Leo rising, uh, it's my relationship house as an Aquarius. And I'm now mulling over, um, you know, what I feel about love, what I feel about relationships, how I've let that um, shape and hone me, who has had the most and biggest impact and effect of that stuff. And kind of looking over my mind, um, you know, and what I think and what I feel and really get into the depths of, of what I feel, you know. And like I said, I thought this was going to come with anger and agitation and it hasn't actually been that. What it's been for me... Um, today is quite a heavy energy of really looking, you know, I've had conversations where I've been looking over my past and, you know, what my experiences are that have helped shape and hone me into the person that I am now and how that affects, you know, the decisions that I make and the, the way that I move forward in my life, how I do life, you know, how I, you know, the type of person and adult that I am and what that relates to. Um, 
and I got really tearful about it earlier and I feel like I'm holding tears back at the moment while I, and this is why I was I decided to do this video because I know a lot of people will be feeling this in different ways and obviously see um the previous eclipse video to find out what houses the eclipse happened for you and that will tell you what house mercury is in for you currently at the moment um you know I'm not going to go into that here because this is about expressing you know what I'm feeling personally and, and just to to kind of give you guys a, a heads up to let you know how it might be affecting you and how it might be playing out for you um and yeah I've got to be honest I'm I'm really feeling this um this understanding that actually uh what we experience and the depth that we experience it to is actually good for us um you know it's not to say that you know feeling pain is always a good thing but that pain is obviously highlighting that there is something unconscious for me um and i think for me personally it very much relates to what it is um you know because the eclipse like i said happened in my first house if you go by the fact that i'm a leo rising and that talks about who I choose now to be in the world. And it is very much about the choice, you know, and, and what story is it that you've been telling up until this point and how are you going to choose to change that? You know, who do you now want to be? What is the image that you want to project? And for me, um, it's given me this understanding that actually, you know, that, well, that none of us actually are, you know, what we've been through. We are a, a person outside of all of that. We are a being outside of all of that. Um, and I just wanted to highlight, you know, some of what you probably will be feeling at this point in time. And and just to let you know that it's okay, actually. And, and feeling um, like you're going through the depths and the dregs of it, you actually are. And you will be now right up until the 5th or the 6th of this month. Um, and that's okay, too. You know, it's 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 okay to experience this pain because it's highlighting something within you that is unconscious that wants and needs to be looked at and addressed and once you look at it and address it and once you you really allow yourself to go through it and feel it um you know you're effectively bringing light into that darkness into that unconscious spot and when you bring that light into that unconscious spot effectively you are doing the mercurial thing of thinking about and looking at and analysing and processing with your thoughts the feelings you know the the that it's happening in you know because this is like I said it's happening in the sign of Leo over the eclipse point um, and yeah I just I'm kind of reminded of Professor X in um, what was the film uh, I think it was one of the X Men films and he says. Uh, Magneto says to the professor, so you, you sacrificed your powers so that you could walk. And he says, you know, I, I sacrificed my powers so that I could sleep. And it is very much that. Um, I think it's a case of, you know, at the moment, everything kind of seems to be slowing down. Because although it is retrograde, Mercury is about to go direct. You know, at the moment it's stationary, but it's stationary on that point. And it's kind of like this stillness, this moment where you have to look at it. You, you know, you don't have a choice because this is what is going on within the mind. This is what's going on with the heart. And the mind is penetrating the heart now. The mind is going down into the depths of the heart. What do you really feel? And how do you feel it? And how is that affecting and colouring everything that you do, you know, on a daily basis? How is it um, aiding, sabotaging or hindering any of your goals? And, you know, today, one of the things that happened for me is um, one of my big goals was really highlighted to me. And, uh, yeah, it was highlighted to me how important it is. And um, I think one of the things that I realised was up until probably very, very recently, I never really allowed myself to think or feel how important that goal was for me to achieve um, because it's, it's talking about what I deem to be my security and going forward it's going to be really really important for us to be honest with ourselves more than anybody else about what we deem as security about what goals are important to us at a heart space level 
you know, not at the mindset, but at a heartfelt level, what is important to you? And what is the biggest goal that you are trying to achieve? And why are you trying to achieve that? What is the end goal? And I think a lot of us, you know, we chase the external and the material, but when you look really beyond that, it's not actually about the physical stuff or the things or the money. It's about the security that you can create when you have those things. Um, and for me, you know, one of the things that I am looking to stabilise or to create um, stability with revolves around a certain amount of security. Um, and, you know, it's it's about creating something secure for myself for the, you know, the rest of my life. And it is, it's about what goals are important to you now, why they are important and how much you are invested in it and the pain that I feel towards these things isn't necessarily because I feel like I can't have them anymore it's because I understand the importance that I have placed on it for now and understanding why it's so important for me um I'm very very grateful for the space that I live in now um I love it and it's been my saving grace in many ways shapes and forms but um, I feel like I'm ready to create a different existence now. Um, and I need my surroundings to change with me. Um, and that's one of the things. And, you know, like I said, I didn't realise how important that was for me or to me until today. Until I really, really broke it down and analysed it. And in doing so, I've actually freed up a lot of energy. Um, and I'm releasing a lot of that stuff. And it's coming up as this... Um, this hurt and this need and this desire, this burning drive to create a different um, experience than the one that I'm having. And from that pain, just like in um, in the X-Men film, this is why I got into this, uh, you know, he says, if you let this stuff in, and if you feel it and you allow yourself to go through it, that pain will make you strong and it will push you on to achieve your goals. And I very much believe that that is the case. I really do for all of us. So whatever it is that you're holding back from, whatever it is that you feel like you can't look at anymore because it hurts too much, I can tell you that you can look at it, that it's important that you look at it and you analyse it because once you've seen it, once you've analysed it and you've shone light into that little dark space that is hiding, that is scared, that is frightened, that it may never see the light of day you effectively bring consciousness to it. And consciousness, as far as I'm concerned, is God. And God is love. So effectively what you're doing is bringing love into that small dark space. And when you do that, everything changes. Everything changes. And I feel lighter just sharing this stuff. Um, I really do. So I hope that you will get something out of it. And um, I hope that you enjoy the weekly videos that are to come. Um... I just wanted to let you know, you know, where I've been, what's going on with me, where I'm at. Um, and this was quite difficult for me to share because it was really, really deeply personal. But I felt like it was important for people to see another side of me. Um, so forgive and permit me to um, be honest and open as I always am with my readings. But um, this time with something a little bit more personal. So um, I love you all. Take care. I wish you all of the best. Enjoy your weekly videos. Um, stay strong. You know, observe what comes up. Really, really observe it and allow yourself to feel it. The Mercury there going, you know, being stationary on the eclipse point. So Mercury is the thought. It's the understanding. It's the analysation. It's the thought process and the way that our thoughts work around and process specific feelings. The mind is penetrating the heart now to see what the heart has been holding on to all of this time, to see what is important to you in your heart space. And once you can really, really honour that and say, OK, these are my goals, whether they're good, whether they're um, great, whether they're big, whether they're small, whether they're deemed superficial by other people is irrelevant. What is relevant, what is, is important is that you look at them and you look at a deep level and you accept and today I had a really powerful reading with one of my clients and I said to her, there's three steps to enlightenment. Um, and the third one, or rather, yeah, this, the, enlightenment is a three-step process. Enlightenment comes from understanding. 
and understanding comes from acceptance. So with this Mercury stuff, look, you know, use the mind to really focus and really analyse on what you're feeling. Let the mind penetrate the heart, which is the Leo. So Mercury in Leo at the eclipse point. Get down into it and look at it. And once you've seen it, once you've brought light and consciousness and love into that space, observe it. And once you observe it, accept it. Once you accept it, you will then start to understand it. And once you can understand it, that's when you, you get to the point of enlightenment. That's when it turns into something else, it transmutes into something else. Observation, analysation, look at it. Accept it for exactly what it is. Do not try to change it, don't try to focus it or any of that. Just observe, accept and really, really accept just as it is. And then you will understand. And once you understand, you can then begin to become enlightened. You know, and those are the steps that you, you, you can take. You know, I'll share that with you guys. And I really hope that it helps you in some way, shape or form. As I said, it took a, a lot of guts for me to share this because I was just going through stuff. And I thought, you know what, let me get this out because there's going to be other people that are feeling this as well. And some of them won't be aware of what it is that they are um, experiencing or going through. And it will have manifested slightly different for everybody. You know, your goals will be different according to your houses and your signs and stuff. Um, so I hope this helped. I love you loads. I wish you all an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. And uh, I pray that this helps you in some way, shape or form. Take care.